While you're in Media Monkey, if you want to, you can export song tags to a file that can then be imported into Music One. M1 can import the tags itself directly from MP3 files, but, but then some people have their playout systems and all their audio files on a different computer. Maybe they do their scheduling from a laptop where they have M1 installed and then they transfer the playlist from the laptop to the streaming computer. If that's how you're doing it, then you will need a way to export song data on the streaming computer to a file that can then be brought over to the M1 computer. You could get that done easily by installing MediaMonkey on the same computer that has your streaming software, that is your playout system, and all of the audio files that you use on your radio station. Here's the MediaMonkey window now, and you can export metadata, that is the tags, everything in your library. You can export everything by selecting all. Or you can hold down the control key on the keyboard and select individual records. When you've selected what you want, go to the File menu and select Create Reports. You do not want to export a playlist. No, no, no. You want to Create Reports. Then you select File List CSV. The CSV extension identifies the file as a comma-separated text file, which is a common type of file used to exchange information from one type of database to another. Give your report a name and then choose a place to save it. Pick your place. Otherwise, MediaMonkey could make the report and then you'll spend five or eight minutes trying to find the thing. I always save it to my desktop where it's readily available. Now, over to Music One. Click on the Tracks button, open the menu Import, and select from CSV. Negotiate to the place where you have saved the file and double-click on it. Everything will come into the New Songs or the New Tracks category. And you can then drag the cards from these two into the categories that you create. One more thing. Any file that is less than 60 seconds and any file that does not have anything in its artist field in the metadata will be imported into Music One onto a non-music card. There's a bit of a difference between music cards and non-music cards in M1, and you can see another video and read the documentation about the differences between those two.